Sora Fackin' X boy. Let's see what you have in store. Ah, shit. Are you kidding? I can't move. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> the four of you are at a bar. Okay. And you see this guy. He's not real. <laughs> so I signed the four of you up for the Fight Club. Fight Club. Someone oh, in God. your group has why, why is... knowledge with these creatures. JFC. That you are God damn it. In this who. Fight Club. Club. I wonder who it is. Please show yourselves from the shadows. Hello, it is I. Um, I, uh, <laughs> it's me. It's, it's him. He's the one that knows it all. Oh, it's, it's I. Even me, the host, don't know anything about these creatures. Slight knowledge based on video games, uh, but that is it. Base your dinosaur knowledge on real paleontology, please. Okay, this video is actually okay in entertainment, but it's really lacking educational, uh, educational, I, I don't know what you call it, but it really lacks in the educational aspect. Right. Oh. What creatures do we have here? Oh, they're oh. dinosaur. It's Jurassic what? Park. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I... You're showing a pterosaur, not a dinosaur. Also, the pterosaur looks a bit weird, if you ask me. I feel like I'm not that dumb, but just to be sure, Patrick, they're not alive <laughs> anymore, right? <laughs> well, dude, dinosaurs are very much alive in the form of birds. Okay, so this isn't really meant to be educational. It's only meant for entertainment, but... I'm as a dinosaur enthusiast. I'm still going to review this video as if it were trying to be educational. Uh, it depends what you would define as a dinosaur, because oh. there are still dinosaurs alive today. Okay. It's just not the ones that people normally think of. Now this guy's correct. Birds, Good job. So. Oh, dinosaurs, aka the Republican Party. Thank <laughs> so, you so you guys are fighting these birds, yes? It's not that all dinosaurs are birds, it's that all birds are dinosaurs. So these mm. that we have here depicted are not birds. Ranking these not- This guy seems to have some knowledge about paleontology. Good job! Birds. <laughs> Into which one can you guys take on in a fight? It's probably gonna be none of them, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, Dad, let me take on the big one. Let me take the big one on. Bro, you're going to either be eaten or just crushed. Or gore or tail whacked, I don't know. This one? I believe that is Allosaurus, one of the most common oh. predators of the Jurassic era. You about to be sore? You about to be I sore. I mean, you guys can <laughs> work together to fight this creature. Can you. We're uh... fighting him? Patrick, what are, his we what are his weaknesses? That's a great question. Um, <laughs> not, uh, not a ton. <laughs> meteors! <laughs> the T Rex, Triceratops, and Anki's weaknesses were meteors. The Allosaurus didn't even need to face the extinction event of the KPG. Its weakness is its weak bite, but again, to compensate, the Allosaurus had super serrated teeth. No axe method, though. <laughs> this is a fairly powerful creature. Yes! The Ice Age! I don't see an Ice Age that occurred in the Jurassic. <laughs> So how does this tier list work? Are we are we putting them in terms of how dangerous um, they are? Well, the more we we're to... going into this, the more I'm realizing you can't uh, survive fighting them. So which one will you be more likely to survive? Probably a carnivore. You know how notoriously dangerous herbivores are? Well, these are like two, three feet tall, right? Yeah, that's what, I'm, what I was going to get to. Some of these I recognize as being rather small creatures. Oh, um, okay. Is this one big, Patrick? Do you know off how the top of your head? One? That would be a, quite a large dinosaur. Tucking five feet or what? Allosaurus <laughs> what is the talking? apex predator of the Jurassic era. Don't forget Torvosaurus and Sauroflaginax. Because you said the Allosaurus was the apex predator of its environment, the Torvosaurus and Sauroflaginax are now crying in a corner. I thought you were better than this. Uh, so, I, don't, I don't like that. You know what? I look at him and go, it's a new era, baby. <laughs> I don't right. even... I'm not fighting Apex anything, bro. I'm not even at the I'm, Apex in my life. I'm not trying to end right. this fast. There are fossils of, like, the largest herbivores. Like, they have Allosaurus bites on them. So If you're talking about the largest in its environment, Maraponisaurus. But it is not without controversy. The Argentinosaurus is the largest dinosaur to have ever lived without controversy, but that is in a completely different formation. The Hoenkel Formation, which occurred in the late Cretaceous, not Jurassic, to clarify that. But if you're talking about the largest in its environment, the largest in the Morrison Formation, then 
Mara Ponysaurus. Oh. Would have been what ate those? That's uh, what you. That's what you uh, have. Uh, uh, Keep that boy We're in S tier. Put him a away lot. from me. Put him in the F tier for fossil. This guy just looks like a worm in this picture. That guy's from the land before time. This seems like an outdated sauropod design. And I could take him, bro. That's little foot. That's yeah, little foot. Was dead, bro. Bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, no. I'm getting. He got a lot of neck to choke out. Brachiosaurus was one of the largest uh, land animals of all time. When there are many other larger sauropods, like Argentinosaurus, Buertasaurus. Mara Ponysaurus of all time. That I would say like if to beat a lot of these dinosaurs, it would be tripping them because Ooh. there'd be Trip a lot a of like I've fallen and I can't get up kind of thing. Ooh, it's like the AT-ATs from Star Wars where the things spun around. <laughs> go around them. Sure, but guys, yeah. they don't wear shoes. How are we? Entertainment-esque Velociraptor spelling. This video is entertainment, so I'll just excuse it. Let's tie their shoelaces. Uh, uh, the down, 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 down. Patrick, Patrick, observation, uh, <laughs> Patrick, what are the logistics of Guys. me tying its neck like a Looney Tune? I thought this video is about paleontology. Why are we talking about physics? It's Bo. Like, is that humanly possible, or are there... <laughs> I don't know that much about its uh, biology, but maybe you could, you know, strangle it or something. I think it's C or D, because yeah, I mean, like... C -tier. Herbivore? What about her? I mean... Brachiosaurus is a sauropod. I don't know how dangerous a sauropod really is. Like, as long as you don't provoke it or anything, then yeah. I could argue that something like a hadrosaur is more dangerous than a sauropod, particularly because the hadrosaur has speed. Like, I'm still conflicted. See? Wait, Dan, what about that dinosaur with the white square background? That one looked crazy. It probably kind of small, but... That thing's probably that one... tiny. What, oh, okay, yeah. What is... Dude, why are you using Inja Dilophosaurus? Real-life Dilophosaurus did not have those venomous spits. That's that's Dilophosaurus. That's how Dilophosaurus. it was depicted in the first Jurassic Park movie. Bible? Uh, oh, wow. Also, yes, the Bible. <laughs> um, <laughs> in the Bible. Dinosaurs. It was actually larger than they showed it in the movie. And they don't spit venom. How tall are they? Kurt 6'2 talked about how tall are they are. <laughs> how tall are they are. <laughs> how tall are they are. I bet his reach ain't like my. I, I don't know how tall it is. At least six feet tall. Probably like 10 At feet least. tall. It's around three meters, aka 10 feet in height. The largest specimen of Dilophosaurus weighed around 400 kilograms and measured about seven meters in length, aka 23 feet. Six feet? Whoa. Oh, that's a threat. Put him in. Is this video supposed to be an educational video or what? Like, I don't think this is supposed to be an educational video. I'm taking it as an educational video. I have no idea. That's a threat. Put him yeah, in the B tier, tall, bro. He's coming after. Uh, that guy on the top left with all fours. What's that one called? That's a cool looking okay. one. Okay. Oh, I've seen that one. That's, I used to have that that's one. That's Ankylosaurus. My only Kyle? knowledge of this is Ark and they break rocks. Yo, if he's breaking rocks, put him in the S tier, bro. We're fine. <laughs> well, the thing with this one is that it's it's heavily armored on its backside. And so a lot of its heavy armor is called osteoderms. You're welcome. Times in like movies or whatever, they'll, they'll show that it has like a weak underbelly. Yeah, we'll make it go to sleep with Cute a belly rub, and then Christian rub. will probably say, great distraction. So if we could Smashing knock it rocks. over onto its back, maybe we have a chance. Ow. Wait, put that in D tier then. That's just a big turtle. Put that guy in D tier. Anki is not as dangerous as Rex, but it could definitely kill a Rex. Also, its great mass and flat build makes it hard to flip over. Next next opponent, next opponent, Dad, next opponent. This is Pachycephalosaurus. It has a very compact, bony skull that it used to oh, like, cephalo. headbutt uh, things. Kind of like a, like a big horn sheep. Just like you, very oonga boonga. It's called a head dome. And also, yes, the Pachycephalosaurus did indeed use its head dome for defense. What the hell? <laughs> is it an herbivore, Patrick? It is an herbivore, yeah. Yeah, it's got, okay, it's so got a beak. He's got a beak? If I got an answer... Uh, herbivore being weak, I say no. Herbivores don't need to be hungry to be dangerous. If they see you as a threat, they'll go after you. Carnivores only go after you because they're hungry. Herbivores are possibly more terrifying than any carnivore could be, even though most of them are likely not as dangerous. That's kind of nice. He does. He's got a beak. So does like Triceratops and them too. A lot of them have beaks. Oh my god! Oh, they do have beaks. That's interesting. All these birds. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fight birds. Put them in the E tier. I ain't losing no. Yeah. Too low. Also forgot to mention, Allosaurus is too high. And uh, <laughs> I 
You're losing to nobody running straight, bro. What if I move left? Head him. I'm not losing to no pigeon, bro. E? Go ahead nah, I ain't losing no e goddamn bird. He got to run straight to get me E tier, bro. Oh next God. opponent. Next opponent. These cute oh, little ones. Man, I'm, no, no. Put that in FT. I'm stepping on it. What do you mean? Nah, I'm stepping on it. I'm stepping on it. Of all the dinosaurs on this list, I think this is probably the one that you are in the least danger of. You heard of Patrick said easy flat <laughs> It's just because it's so small. I believe this one is called Compsignathus. I think it was like like chicken size, basically. Oh, Maybe a little bit. Easy vermin! Oh, easy oh, I'm cooking him. Yeah, we, I'm cooking him too. Which one do you guys want to fight? Now nah, you so pick then. Send him in. Send him in. We're ready. What's the, uh, is that a duck? <laughs> what is, is that? What the hell is that? <laughs> a hadrosaur, a.k.a. what people call Duck bills. <laughs> it's some some kind of hadrosaur. Yeah, there was a lot of dinosaurs they look like that a loafer, looked like bro. they had the duck bills. There's a few of them on this on this tier list I see. It's I look like a duck. loafer. Burr! It's Daffy <laughs> Duck. Now all the other dinosaurs bully this one. Put them in D tier. No, hadrosaurs are perfectly capable of defending themselves, and with a powerful tail and hind legs, and with immense weight. Any predator would have a hard time facing hadrosaurs. Also, hadrosaurs could also bite on the predators. Moving forward, these cute little boys. How Good God, Shaw, wrapped with feathers, damn it. Oh, yep. hell no. So this is called Velociraptor, and, well, it depends on if we're talking about the movie version of Velociraptor or if we're talking about... The real ones were, like, way smaller, right? Yeah. yeah. There, there were, like, raptor dinosaurs that were that size, but Velociraptor uh -huh. specifically was a lot smaller, probably the size of, like, a... Every paleontologist is crying because of what you did to the raptor. Turkey. Oh, oh dude, no, it's it's happening. Happening. <laughs> Thanksgiving came early, dog. Put that in the F tier, dog. I would, I could fight a turkey. I would hit the pad. I don't want to do this, but I wait. Then, <laughs> right. then send yes. me in that, uh, send me in that water one right quick at the top right. Top right. Oh, oh what no. is this? Okay. dude, that's a Final <laughs> Fantasy. Dude. That's a mosasaur, and it's not a dinosaur. Do your research. Dude, that's a Final this Fantasy. Dude, boss. Put that dude, in this is tuna. If it was like in the water, and I'm standing on land, I'm like, I'll wait for you to evolve, dog. I'll be here. <laughs> it's a Pokemon. Bro. Put it in well, that. the funny thing is, if you want to know what it's, wait for it to evolve. Uh, you're gonna end up fighting a Komodo dragon because oh, that's what well, uh, that's, that's that's the closest right, living relative ooh. today. No, but Thank God, I saw. You were gonna say that Komodo dragons evolved from mosasaurs. How how dangerous is he if I stand on the shore? Put him in the F tier. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Put him in the F tier. Put him in the F tier, bro. I mean, T Rex. I'm not Go ahead, just put no him in the S. Just put him in the S. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex, the most dangerous thing to live on Earth. It deserves S tier, but the Allosaurus doesn't deserve S tier. What? Are we playing a Jurassic World Alive thing? Patrick, how big was the T Rex? <laughs> Was he, was he actually an apex predator? Yeah. The T-Rex? Oh, Absolutely. it was. Like the, t the adult T-Rexes are definitely apex predators of their environment. The juveniles were excellent pursuit predators that hunted things like Onithomimus and Anzu. T-Rex beat um the other S-tier out of curiosity. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Then put the Allosaurus down. Yeah, oh, T-Rex wow. is way bigger than Allosaurus. Allosaurus is still bigger than any predator we could really uh, deal with today. My favorite apex predator is the United States military industrial. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Out there in the S plus. Next. Next. Okay, so this is a joke. I can excuse that. Anyways, this guy scares me in art. But what so. did dinosaur know about a defense budget, bro? That's Arc. Spinosaurus. Um, Spinosaurus. It, uh... Cue the monsters resurrected montage. <laughs> Why? How did oh, he get to put these names? <laughs> they look around the room. They were like, "Yo, Spinosaurus, Spinosaurus." Yeah. They go with zoom that? in the water. Yo, yeah. What is this? Okay, what is, is that from Avatar? Uh, from what I could tell, yeah. that's supposed to be Parasaurolophus, which is just like the. It's another one of those duckbill dinosaurs. Oh, it's a duck. Yeah. Uh, this is Parasaurolophus. This looks like something that honks. That's a duck. I <laughs> <can't> <laughs> no bird. <laughs> Put the duck with the other ducks, bro. Get him out of here. The thing about these duckbill dinosaurs, they're they're pretty good runners. Oh, they better. I don't really know. I haven't found a source yet for hadrosaur speed. 
So, uh... <laughs> Shut up. Put him in the duck tier. Put him in the duck tier, Doc. Next. <laughs> what about this one? It's the Ivan sword. Okay. What is that? What is it? What is it? Is it another I, type of small? Not super small. It's kind of like an ostrich. I think I think that one is called Gallimimus. Um, what have you done to its pronunciation? It's pronounced Gallimimus. Not Gallimimus. And, uh, yeah, it's oh. basically an ostrich of sorts. I'm not e fighting an ostrich. Tier. That's, That's what right. I'm saying. It's like, okay, you, you're you're afraid of the ostrich, but you're not afraid of the duckbill dinosaur. Saying. I would be terrified by either of those. <laughs> That's like five to no, no, that is, no, that is exactly <laughs> correct. And there's all now. these massive creatures, and I'm a Christian <laughs> walking up to him like, I was in a no duck. Dude, a <laughs> big duck is still a duck. I'm winning that fight. Uh, <laughs> Give the freaking hadrosaurs a break, damn man, and let them just cry. Crush their predators. In the duck tier. What, what about this flying one? That is Pterodactyl. a. Oh, oh yeah. Dude, why? Dude, Pteranodon is a pterosaur, not a dinosaur. Bro, we ain't handling that. Put him in the S tier. He got the higher ground, Anakin. Put him on the S tier. <laughs> so I'm gonna guess that this one is also flying up. Is that to a bird? Us. No, no that's that that here's the difference. They got a duck bill. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on. I gotta get close. <laughs> He's trying to see if he got well, a duck bill. Look at uh, the bottom roll. The bottom, that guy. This one? Triceratops. Yeah. Triceratops. That Triceratops. Yeah. Bro, that's a Power Ranger right there. I mean, it's either A or S in my opinion, to be honest. Like Triceratops is probably the most dangerous herbivore to have ever lived. Literally, I would never try and face a Triceratops because I would end up provoking it and the trike would just charge and gore me. Yeah. 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 Run over a car and not even care. Wait, can we, Den, is there any more ducks? I need to get my confidence. <laughs> you gotta, yeah. I, need, I need a tune up you round. Really like a, a, Den, put the, all the ducks in the D tier, well, Den. Put them higher, man. Never underestimate the hadrosaurs. <laughs> Is this what is I, that? I can't really tell what that one is, but something pretty similar to Dilophosaurus. Which is the one that you already have in B. He I stays B. there. Okay. Oh, never mind. Look at the speed run this. Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus, the legend. Y'all know what's at the end of its tail, right? Is Bunch it spikes? of spikes. The spikes at the end of its tail is called a thecomizer. Also arrange these pencilettes properly, please. Yeah. Who's that big-headed guy right there with the horns? Oh. Stiggy Moloch, which is just a juvenile Pachycephalosaurus. Man, Jack Horner comes with such wild theories, but this one I can agree with. Oh, is that a uh, cranny dose? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I wanted to you and kill you. No, yes, they're bro, able to break your skeleton line. with a charge. Nah, just for the hairline alone, F tier. <laughs> oh <laughs> this is entertainment, God. I'm not complaining. <laughs> This All guy, right. I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, he looks <laughs> crazy. What is that? That oh is God. Ceratosaurus. Uh, it had razor sharp shit. teeth that were serrated, hence Ceratosaurus. That's what the name ah, is for. Uh, it also had a little horn on its head or on its nose. Watch out! <laughs> they probably use those horns for display. He's, he's biting down on Christian, and Christian goes, Dude, watch out for that horn. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my body torn to shreds. My like, God, <laughs> careful, the horn. The horn's right, man. <laughs> yeah, I think it's an S on so, both. One's just stronger. I mean, because yeah. I feel like he'd tear apart yeah, anyone. In At least they aren't giving it JFC Ceratosaurus treatment, but still, I would put Ceratosaurus lower. No way in hell does this thing compare to a T-Rex. Hey. Horn, Kurt. What about yeah, the horn, though? Yeah. yeah, watch out! The, the watch horn out. makes it all the way up front. <laughs> watch out! This last one you have is uh, Indominus is Rex from Jurassic World. Dominus? A fictional hybrid, bro. In Indominus Rex from Jurassic World 1. How does this look on survivability? I still think it's a bit optimistic, I will say, but, you know. <laughs> Now, if I gotta be honest, the Indominus would probably just kill you for sport. Like, if the Indominus were to be put in the real world, like, it's more dangerous than the Rex ever could be because the Indominus actually hunts for fun. Patrick <laughs> is right! <laughs> Perfect for dipping oh, yeah. into, the, into the sauce, you know? True. It seems like you guys aren't surviving most of these outside of probably... Bro, look at all these flying ones. Like, y'all just a bunch of angry Hey, lose it to go back. <laughs> and with that, you 
guys find out that Brad Pitt was all a pigment of your imagination, a and you guys, uh, <laughs> you call him a pigment, then? A pigment <laughs> no, of, what? a pigment you of your imagination. call him a pigment of my imagination. Dragon. That's crazy. Oh, right, we can't find these dinosaurs, but Patrick, where can we find you, though? Oh, yes, nice. sir. You can find me at. Okay, so the rest of the video is just about them. I don't know. Blabbing about. Okay. Personally, I find this video quite good from an entertaining perspective, but an educational perspective, nah fam, this shouldn't be used as an educational source. I find these guys quite fun to be honest, do not spread hate towards them please. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoy it, see you all next time, peace.